Welcome to DeFi Crypto Today. Um, we're looking at the curve today. It's a very popular and one of the best uh, protocols available right now on DeFi. Um, what's exciting about it is that now uh, they started on Ethereum where they were very very popular and they expanded on Polygon and other networks so now you don't need to pay huge gas fees if you want to take advantage of their offerings. Obviously there are less and the offerings on Polygon at the moment but and they are interesting uh, they're um, relatively low risk and they have all kinds of bonuses so let's have a quick look at this so we're at the Polygon home but as I mentioned earlier they're available on Ethereum, Phantom, Polygon and XDAI. Uh, right now they have three different pools for Polygon and uh, the, the first one is just uh, stable coins. It gives you an, a base API, APY of 3.38%. Uh, and you have extra rewards in Curve tokens and uh, wrap Matic. They have a deal with Matic at the moment where they're giving extra tokens as a bonus. Okay, So if you add all three... Um, APYs, you're getting close to 10% roughly on stable coins, which is quite nice. Okay, a lot better than the bank. Uh, right now, uh, from what I read, is um, the average um, savings account in uh, the US is 0.06%. Uh, this is 10%. It's hundreds of times better. So that's something to consider. Um, then you have, uh, if you're on, uh, if you like Bitcoin, you can play with uh, this pool. It's got AM wrapped Bitcoin and REN Bitcoin. I'm not going to go into details about this. You can read about that yourself. There's a base APY of 0.21% and very interesting bonuses. So you can get about 7-8% total on Bitcoin which is very very nice because typically um, interest rates for Bitcoins are very low and you've got uh, the Etri crypto <laughs> pool which is a mixture of DAI, USDC, USDT, wrapped uh, Bitcoin and wrapped Ether uh, and the rates are pretty fantastic at the moment um, 3.44% base plus 10.37% curve and 9.66 Matic. So you're getting over 20% on, on this one. Obviously, this one has nearly no impermanent loss because these are stable coins. There's, uh, there shouldn't be much uh, impermanent loss here either because it's uh, Bitcoin against Bitcoin. But here you could have some significant impermanent loss because you've got some stable coins against some uh, variable coins. So that's something to consider, okay? You have to consider the different kinds of risk that are uh, that you're subjected to. Curve by itself is a, a re reasonably low risk protocol. Um, if we uh, let's have a look at uh, the ranking uh, in terms of TVL total value locked they're number two in, in the DeFi world with a total of 8.88 billion dollars at the time we're doing this video they're the only bigger one at the moment is AVIC with 10.53 billion so this is a very very popular pro protocol trusted by a lot of people that does not mean it's safe there's nothing safe in crypto but it's uh, it's pretty good now if we look at DeFi safety what kind of rating did they give us they give us uh, only 77 percent it's not as good as balancer remember my balancer video which you can see 
Um, Balancer is the only one that got a perfect rating at uh, DeFi safety, uh, so it's hard to measure up. Uh, Curve Finance uh, gets a passing grade, it's passing according to DeFi safety is 70%, so they passed. And if we look at uh, why they got didn't get a perfect score, uh, DeFi safety things they're lacking in the documentation department. In terms of uh, coding and team, they're very, very good. Testing is pretty good. And the audits are quite nice as well. So they need to work on their documentation, apparently, according to DeFi safety. But other than that, they seem to be OK. All right. Again, it's not safe. Nothing is safe. However, this is um, relatively low risk. Okay, consider that. They talk about risk. So let's say we wanted to invest in uh, this protocol, for instance. Uh, we would go to the top here where it says deposit. And you can deposit any of these coins and it will automatically rebalance them. Okay, so you hit deposit and or deposit and stake, engage, and whatever. Then here they talk about the risks. Okay, they talk uh, where they got audited. So if you want to check the audit, which you should, uh, they were audited by 12 of bits. Okay. And as they explain here, security audits don't eliminate risk completely. Okay, please don't supply your life savings, okay, uh, or assets that you cannot afford to lose, especially as a liquidity provider. Okay, so what you should do is use funds that you can afford to lose. If something goes bad, if a hacker hacks into Curve and takes, and takes the money and run, Okay, uh, you're not gonna die tomorrow. Yeah, okay, so because you only use assets that you can afford to lose. Okay, so then they talk about the loss of peg. If uh, the die loses its peg against a dollar, the USDC, USDT, whatever. Okay, they're talking about that, they're taking risk and so on. So you can read about all the details here. Okay. Um, here they've got the reserves and so on. Now, one thing that's a little bit uh, off-putting is the, the the rather clunky looking interface at Curve. However, I think the uh, it the interface works very well. It's just not the prettiest interface in the world. <laughs> okay, so. Um, what else? Yeah, if you, uh, you're curious about, let's go back to Root. If you're curious about the other uh, networks, you need to, you can switch to Ethereum, for instance. And it says I need to switch. So I'm not going to do that because we don't need to, uh, to play in it. But you can see that they have several other uh, protocols. Now rem uh, remember that for every button that you press in Ethereum, pretty much, there's a very big gas fee. So just depositing uh, tokens in here could cost you $20. While well, on Ethereum, it's a fraction of a cent. So take that into consideration before you invest on the Ethereum side. Um, so typically, if your portfolio is rather small, just a few hundred dollars, try to look for options on the Polygon side because your gas fees are going to be very, very small. On the other hand, if you've got a portfolio of several thousand dollars, like 5,000, 10,000 and up, then you might find it, uh, the, the Ethereum projects uh, more attractive. Okay, But that's up to you. That's your choice. Okay, all right, that's it for uh, Curve. I find uh, I use Curve in the past, I'm not using it at the moment, but I think it's a very decent uh, project. It's a very good protocol, the team knows what they're doing, um, and it's relatively low risk. So, 
so if you like this video please click like please subscribe and download the free uh, free book i'm giving you a free book on crypto strategies uh, that are relatively safe or relatively low risk okay so till next time bye bye